where today we're going to be taking a look at and doing a tasting interview of a very special edition of a single barrel <coughs> Reposado from Cascanas right here on the Tequila Hombre coming up next. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this episode of the Tequila Hombre and I'm the Tequila Hombre. And today it's Friday, so it's time for another review. And today we're doing a really special one. We're doing a review of this single barrel, <coughs> excuse me, high proof Reposado from <coughs> Cascades. Yes, yeah, so you're probably wondering, <coughs> okay, hombre, well, what makes this so special? <coughs> well, uh, it's the first time it's ever been done before, which is awesome. Second time, the second thing is it's the only Reposado they've ever done that's been higher than 80 proof. Awesome. Another thing is, is it's exclusive to the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective, which is my group. So I coordinated it, I put it together, and I picked it. So um, this is really special stuff. Uh, they've never done a, uh, a Reposado. As a matter of fact, I can kind of tell you a little story about this. When I was talking to... Um, to John Paul, uh, the CEO of Cascanas, I said to him, I go, you know, why don't you do a high proof repo? And he looked at me and he goes, you know, hombre, he goes, he calls me, he calls me hombre, he goes, you know, hombre, um, uh, we think of reposados as a gateway uh, expression. So it's like a beginner expression. It's for people that are just coming into tequila. They normally, those are the people that drink it and those are the people that don't like high proof porcos. Hey, Leo Bravo, thank you for becoming a member. That's awesome. Um, they don't like higher proof tequilas. And I said, well, my group likes higher proof tequilas. And he goes, oh, really? And I said, yeah, so maybe we should do, you know, a high proof version for ferment and steel or for my group or something. And he goes, well, you know, we got some, some reposados and barrels and stuff. And I go, well, why don't we do a single barrel cash strength? And he went, okay, why don't we, sure. Why don't we do that? <laughs> and I was like, yes. So then uh, they m m had their trip to Mexico. They went through their barrels and stuff, and they brought um, some barrels that were ready, um, samples from some barrels that were ready for me to try. And I picked out one that I liked the best, and uh, it was really, really good. And then you know they went back to Mexico. It's the same time that I went to Mexico, um, and I spent the weekend around us while they were down at the Valle at the distillery taking some care of stuff. And they pulled a sample of, from our barrel, and they said, they were sampling the our barrel, our barrel, the barrel the collective got against all the other ones, and everybody by far said that that they thought this barrel was the best, <laughs> and that uh, and that they wanted to make sure that they got some, so to let them know when it was going on, so they can they can pre-order it, so they can get some too. They liked it that much, which that says a lot. When even the people at Cascanas were like, "Bro, we'll buy some." Just. Let us know when the pre-sale is happening and, and, and we'll go from there. So the pre-sale is happening. Uh, the link is below. If you want to join the collective, you actually get a better price, a discounted price. Um, but then you also get first shot at it. So there's already been a lot of people that already placed their orders that have their reservations in and they're good to go. Uh, but you also get a lower price. So if you're going to buy more than one bottle and stuff, it actually pays to be a member of the collective. Uh, and then you can actually save more money um, you know, um, buy at other collective stuff too. So, and then there's other uh, different um, benefits to being in the collective. It's not just the discounts, but you also get you know, access to stuff that um, may not be accessed to everybody else. And and you get to actually um, decide to on help decide as to what kind of buys we're going to do. And and you're on the inside of everything. You're in, you're actually part of the uh, decision making panel. That's why it's called the collective. Um, so to be a member, it's ten dollars a month. It's nothing. It's like two Starbucks coffees, and then um, and then you 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 end up saving more of that. It's I, I did it to weed out some deadbeats and stuff. So just to show you, I, this is the bottle that they uh, they sent me. Um, 
or gave me my for my sample bottle. John Paul came here and brought it to me. It's not full, not because I drank most of it. I wish it's this full because they did their little dipper thing into the barrel and just put it right into the bottle. And then to show you, they sealed the bottle. So it's not like I've had any of this. This is, is completely sealed. It was sealed for transit when he brought it back so it didn't leak in his luggage. So uh, there, I'm peeling the plastic off of it. So I haven't had any of this yet, except for the sample that I had before when I picked the barrel. Um, the only thing that really sucks for me is that, I mean, that's all That's all they gave me. So, so I'm gonna wait like everybody else after this um, to get uh, to get mine in so I can drink it too. But at least they have a little bit to work on. And to tell you guys about, because a lot of people wanted to know, wanted to know tasting notes, and so I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you, ladies and gentlemen, to give you your tasting notes and stuff. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the production of this. I always try to get into that stuff for everybody. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Cascanas, it is one of my favorite brands. Um, it didn't used to be, but then after uh, I got exposure to them and started drinking more and more of their stuff, it's now and is now basically my favorite brand because everything that I've had from them has been stellar. So um, they use Valle Agave for this. Um, agave from the Lola, or from the Valle, from the Valley of, of Jalisco. They have an Agave Whisperer that goes around checking fields and stuff, checking bricks levels of Agaves until he finds stuff that's like really super ripe, really good quality Agave, and then they go hand pick out which ones they want for their batches. Okay, so they they get the great great agave like that. They use an autoclave under high pressure to cook the agave. They do an eight hour cook on it um, and, and then uh, let it cool down overnight afterwards. Then after they're done um, cooking it, they use a roller mill to extract the sugars out of the agave fibers. And then they ferment in stainless steel tanks using uh, natural yeast. Um, and then uh, after it is done ferment with fermentation, they then twice distill it in stainless steel stills with copper coils. Actually, I think it's just stainless steel stills. I don't think there's copper coils inside it. I think it's just stainless steel stills. And then after there, it, it's twice distilled and then it's bottled uh, for the Blanco at uh, 100 proof. Um, they don't have an 80 proof Blanco, but they're working on it. I actually got to taste one and it tastes, it tastes okay, but still I'm a huge fan of the 100 proof and the still strength Blanco. Um, so. And then uh, this this was actually barreled at about, they said about 102 um, proof, so about 51%, 52%, right around there, uh, alcohol uh, is what it's barreled at. And then uh, this barrel went for uh, about eight, eight months, I believe they told me, eight months in the barrel for this one. So it, it varies, you know, because they, they don't do it based on how much time it actually spends in the, in the barrel. They do it based on the taste and how it tastes. So uh, you can have one that tastes really good that's eight months, another one that's nine months, another one that's 11 months. Um, they just pull it out based on when it gets to the point where like, okay, this is this is the quality that we're looking for in our Reposado. So there you go, that's how it's made. <clears throat> it is uh, good quality stuff. Um, they Their water that they use um, in the process as well is actually trucked in from uh, out by a place called Osto Tipaquillo. Um, they use this fresh natural spring water um, that they go fill up a truck and, and bring it down to the distillery and use the special water for it. Very um, mineral rich, um, great quality water they use. And I think that makes a huge difference as well uh, in the in the quality and, and the taste of their, their tequila. So we'll pour a little bit of this single barrel repo into the glass. And we'll take a look at it. So taking a look at this in the glass. Coats the glass beautifully. Look at that. Look at the look at the tears and legs just coming down that glass. Look at that. There is more legs right there than than in a ZZ Top video. It's got legs. It knows how to use them. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is almost tequila porn. Look how beautiful that looks. <laughs> Looking at, at it in the glass, it is crystal clear. It looks beautiful. It is a nice, um, kind of a light, it's a medium amber color on it. It, it looks darker in here because I have the lower lights and the yellow lights, but it's actually kind of like a, 
a medium amber color. Um, it looks beautiful. Looks amazing. So let's see what we get on the nose on this. Mm, mm, mm. The first thing you get is a nice, super nice minerality to it. And then you pick up this beautiful um, cooked agave. It's got um, the cinnamon and baking spices in it. Definitely some cloves. It's a, a little floral on the nose. So it's got more of a floral-esque kind of a, a nose to it as well. Mm, definitely picking up some vanilla and some uh, caramel on it as well. A little bit of a fruit like... Um, <clears throat> like apricot a little bit of dried fruit like apricot on the nose as well mm, it smells really nice i love apricots too they have that really nice smell and it smells it has a has an apricot ish kind of uh, note to it really nice okay so let's see what let's see what we get on the flavor profile mm. Oh. <laughs> it's got this beautiful silky velvety mouthfeel to it it drapes your your tongue like a like a beautiful silk linen on a really expensive table and then you just get the shower of flavor that comes through and it is oh god this is so good uh You get that beautiful cooked agave coming through. And then it follows it with this beautiful fruitiness, really nice fruitiness, like um, like apricots, like uh, dried apricots, dried fruit, dried apricots, maybe some mango in there, um, papaya. And then you get this beautiful vanilla and caramel that come through on the finish. And it has kind of like a... Honey and apple kind of note to it as well. If you ever had taken apples and dip it in honey, so you get that kind of fruity appleness flavor, and then you get this really nice honey finish. The finish sits on your tongue. It's still there right now, and it, right now it's saying it's it's got a honey esque kind of uh, finish to it right now, and it's just sitting there. So it's like a sweet honey with a tad bit of a little tart fruit like apple on it. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This this takes you on a journey. This is one of the best reposados I've ever had. Um, I don't think I've ever had another uh, hundred proof reposado before, to tell you the truth. Um, but this is one of the best reposados I've ever had. Absolutely amazing. You guys are gonna love this. It's it's different. Um, it's different. It's not like their their extra nejo. Their extra nejo um, is a lot different than this. This is a lot lighter as far as um, as far as um, robustness goes, <clears throat> and it's a different flavor profile, which I like. It's it's more on the fruity side, less on the caramelly and vanilla side. Uh, let's do this. Uh, um, this is the regular. Number seven repo. So let's do a side by side and see what we, uh, what the differences are. Because I know some people have asked me, or are, are gonna ask me, well, how is it different from the regular repo? <laughs> so this is the regular repo. This, look at the, just look at the color. The color is different. This one, this one's a lot darker. This one's a lot lighter in color. All right, so uh, on the nose, there's more agave on this. It's got more of a cinnamon on this batch. See, they're different batches too. They have different agave in these. This one's got more cinnamon on it, and then it's got it's got like a light vanilla and caramel in there. A hint of like citrus in this one as well. And it's, this one smells good, but this one, on the other hand, 
<laughs> Beautiful agave, and then you get rich um, fruit, uh, like apricot, dried fruit, and then vanilla and caramel come through on it on the nose, like a champion. Oh, heads and tails difference between the two of these right now. All right, so let's see what we get on the flavors. Yeah, you get the baking spices, nice vanilla and some caramel on that. Not nearly as complex as this is. Mmm. Ugh. Night and day difference, you guys. The single barrel is so much um, silky on the mouthfeel. So as soon as you take a sip in it, you just drapes your tongue. Like I said, it's like silky, smooth, um, creamy mouthfeel on it. And then it just envelopes your tongue with flavor. And it, it's got this nice oiliness to it where the flavor just hangs there for a while. And it just goes and goes and goes. I still have that nice kind of a tart apple with this with a honey-esque uh, kind of finish on it. I love it. It's fantastic. Fantastic. You guys are going to be so happy with it. The ones that have already already purchased yours, you're going to love it. Um, those of you that haven't, um, get in and get in and get some. I'm serious. Um, join the collective if you're going to buy more than one bottle because you'll save money on it. Um, if not, just the links below. You can go ahead and put your order in for it now if you're just going to get a bottle and that's it. And that's all you care about. Um, and don't care about other future buys and stuff that we're doing with the Collective. The Collective is going to be off the hook crazy this year. So, But um, get your bottles now before it's sold out. We've already sold over half the barrel so far. So it, this is not going to last very long. It's not going to last as long as the extra uh, Añejo did and... And the Hoven, those were a lot more than, than a single barrel batch. Those were bigger batches. <clears throat> um, but this is, um, it's superb. You guys are going to come back and go, oh my God, that is so good. You guys are gonna, I think you guys, you guys are going to love this as much, okay, as the extra Neo, as you guys love the extra Neo. Um, I mean, it, but not compared to the extra nail. They're two different animals. But I mean, as far as the repo goes, you guys are going to love this. You guys are going are gonna to tell me, oh my God, this is fantastic. This is great. One of the best reposados I've ever tasted. Because Canis did not disappoint. And I, didn't, I knew they would. I mean, I knew they wouldn't. I knew they would. They never do. All right. So, um, how would I rate this one? Oh, this one's definitely a five agave. It's, it's literally the best reposado that I've ever had. Ever. Ever. By far, nothing is compared to this. I've never had a night, I've never had a hundred proof reposado before, though. Um, but nothing compares to this. It's uh it's nothing, nothing is is I haven't had anything that beats it. It is the best um reposado I've had. Alright, so um that being said, uh let's get to our members and see what comments and stuff we have going on here. Oh yes. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, yes, Cascanas is always great. Yes, it is. Hey, Todd. Todd Gilbert. Mr. Grant, how are you? Abel, good to see you again, buddy. Yes, Leo's our new member. Welcome, Leo. Hey, Johnny Pro, good to see you, buddy. Welcome. Welcome, Leo, again. Everyone's welcoming Leo, our new member. He's a new member of the of the, the community here on YouTube. Boy, boy bravo. Bienvenido, welcome, my friend. Leo, welcome. You ordered yours. You can't wait. I, I can't wait either. I, I really can't. Uh, they they said they're, they're shooting for mid mid to late March right now on when it should show up. So, yes, welcome, Leo. Everyone's saying all all the members are saying welcome to Leo as part of the part of the group now. Uh, you want to stay on your mezcal journey, but you couldn't let this one get away without grab. It, yeah, I know. This is worth getting off the mezcal journey for a little bit. For you can always get you can always get back on the mezcal journey. I I I bounce between the two of them. I don't just stick with mezcal just and not do tequila anymore. I, that would be for me. That would be a sin. So 
I don't do that. Hello, all. He's sipping tequila Ocho Nijo. Great. We're sipping Cascanas right now, Robert. <laughs> hey, more Bravo. It is a beauty. You're, you're right, Johnny. It is amazing. It is a beauty. This is going to be great. I need to have a new scale, a new agave scale for Cascanas. Yeah. Um... I, I would actually put this up as a six or seven on the agave scale. Uh, it does take it off the five, but definitely is a full five agaves. It might need its own voiceover too. Oh, its own. Oh, ooh, its own. Instead of using, instead of using one like this, I might have to create my own one for cause kindness. Mm. I'll have to work on that, and maybe I'll I'll present it tomorrow that while I'm singing to my race song, oh, baby. Oh yeah. It makes you wanna sing. <laughs> uh yeah, maybe I'll do my own cut a new a new Cascana's voice just for Cascana's. The color looks super nice, almost darker than some other brand in Yeho's. Sounds so good. And look, it is amazing. It is great. This by far is gonna be one of my favorite reposados. It is. It People are going to love this. It's going to raise the bar on Reposados where um, I know a bunch of brands, you know, people from other brands are going to buy some of this and try it. Um, they always do. They always want to see what's going on with the other brands and stuff. And I know people are going to taste this and they're going to look at it and they're going to go, ah, f how are we going to match this? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Uh, Sipping Cuscon is hoping tonight. Yes. Cuscon is in the house. Uh, how many barrels did you taste? And did you remember the tasting notes from the other brand, other barrels? And what was the deciding factor in selecting this one? Yeah, um, I tasted like four, four or five barrels. Um, the tasting notes on them were all different. Um, I just went by, I didn't write tasting notes down, so I don't remember them by, by the, uh, by their actual, you know, exact tasting notes. I remember them by which one I thought tasted the best. And I just went, some of them were harsher. Uh, some of them, um, the flavors were, there was some more bitterness in it and stuff that I didn't like. Some more stringency and stuff where this one was really complex and really rich in flavor. And that's why I picked it. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, John Paul was tasting through them with me and he, he looked at me and he goes, yeah, he goes, I think, I think you're right. You picked the best one. And then, uh, when everybody else tried it in Mexico, they came back and agreed that this by far was the best the best one um, to the point where people were like, uh, you've already committed this one to somebody? And they're like, yeah, it's, it's gone. Mark claimed it. So we have it. It's ours. The other barrels were not nearly as good as this. I was like, if if the other barrels were the only ones they were going to offer, I was going to say, we'll hold off until until a different one comes out that that's in line with what we like. I didn't like the other ones at all, so... Um, that's how different these barrels are. When you do barrel tastings, they taste completely different from each other. So um, you get a different flavor profile from them because it's different wood and different trees and whatever. And so you can have a barrel that is like, okay, this is phenomenal, and taste another one where you're like, this is not good. This is this is disgusting, you know, type of thing. And like when I did the barrel tastings with um, with um, uh, Casa San Matias. Yeah, I was tasting all of them, and I tried like a Weller one, and I was like, okay, this is really gross. This is not good. Uh, and then I was trying, you know, the Eagle Rare one. I was like, okay, this one's really good. And so we ended up selecting the Eagle Rare Reposado and a Blanton and Yeho. Those two were the best ones. But you can try another Eagle Rare one and go, okay, this this one's not good either. Um, so it's just a matter of picking up the right ones and finding the right flavors that you, that you like and that you think that people that are buying it in your collective will like. So that's basically what... What I had to do. <clears throat> is there any burn? Well, uh, in, at the beginning, there's a little burn, and then after that, there's no burn at all. Just silky smooth uh, goodness. Uh, really easy to sip. Um, but you know, when you, when you first take a sip of of something that's fifty percent alcohol, you're going to get a little burn in your lips and gums. But after the initial sip, it's there's no burn at all. No burn going down. Nothing. It's just really rich and smooth and uh, and velvety. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. You guys are going to love that. Uh, so will there be a blended version of this like no. No. Just the normal the normal reposado. So the <clears throat> the 
The number seven is the blended version of that. The 80 proof. So that's what there's going to be. <clears throat> I'm trying to talk him into doing a, 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 a normal high proof reposado just for ferment and still that would be our, like a, a blended one that would be an everyday uh, brand that we would we would only have a ferment and still but I haven't talked him into it yet I'm working on it so but they're only doing four four barrel selects on the on the repos and we by far I'm telling you we by far have the best one uh, when do you choose a barrel? What do you look for? Sweetness, caramel, or more backing spice or straight agave? What's your preference notes? I don't go in with preference notes because if I do, then I'm, I'm, I can be disappointed. I go in and I look for the barrels that give me the best, um, the best experience, right? I don't want anything with off flavors. I don't want anything to taste nasty. I just um, look for stuff that's going to give me an interesting um, journey and that I'm really going to like the flavors. And I know that other people are going to like the flavors too. So sometimes I get stuff that's more sweet and fruity and other times I get stuff that's more herbally and, and mineral. And you know, it all depends on, on you know, what the barrel delivers to me. But I, I try to find the barrel that delivers the best experience to me where I don't find anything um, with them that's off-putting. Uh, that's that's what I look for. I don't go in with predetermined because if you go in with predetermined flavors, you, you're going to end up walking away um, from tables at, at times and not with that without anything. And then they're going to go, well, sorry, we can't do a barrel with you because um, we, you know, maybe our barrels don't produce that a particular flavor that you're looking for. So it's like going into a, a I do it as like going into a uh, as a DJ going into an event with a predetermined list of music. Um, when you do that, it fails miserably all the time uh, because you never know what people are going to be driving on, what people want to listen to, what people want to dance to. It's the same type of thing with this. I don't go in with preset flavors that I'm looking for. Instead, I go in and taste through them and whatever one gives me the best experience where I'm like, this, this is beautiful. I like the way this tastes. That's the one I pick. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Uh, I was curious if they're going to be a high proof blended. No, there's not. I'm working on uh, trying to get one to do one for fermented still, but um, they don't they don't want to do one yet. So the answer would be no right now. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, cool. So there you go, guys. Any other questions? Any other comments? Don't forget to give me a like for the information I shared. Um, and if you want to get in on the buy, the link is in the description below. You'll see it. It says to get a bottle of the Cascana's uh, single barrel, uh, hundred proof Reposado. Um, you click on that link, it'll take you to fermented still. Um, and if you want to get multiple bottles, it, just join the collective. It's ten bucks a month. You'll end up you'll end up saving more money than what you spent on it. But just don't tell people that. I don't. It's kind of our secret here for people to actually watch the videos. Um, anybody that's that, that's a member of the collective will tell you so far they're getting their money's worth on it, and they it's not it it's it, it's going to be great. It's going to be fine. We got a bunch of members already, so. Don't be afraid for, to join the member because when all the other buys happen, you get to, you get to pick your stuff first. You get you're the first to get them, so you guaranteed to get it. Where uh, on other stuff that may come out, it, once we build up the membership, it could be to the point where <clears throat> um, where all the members buy it all up before it goes out to the public. So <clears throat> it's an amazing buy. It is. It's a great buy. You guys are gonna love this. Get in on it. Pick up. Pick up your bottles. Um, get. Get make sure you got it. I just had somebody email me today going, I wish we were I wish I would have gotten in on the on the Cascana's extra neo because it's gone. Like I told you guys, once it sells out, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone for good now. Um so um make sure you uh if you want it, get in on it, get it soon so it you're not sitting there going, Oh, I wish I would have gotten in on it now that it's all sold out. So <clears throat> see. Bonnie's all ready for it. <laughs> she's a member. She's a member of the YouTube channel. She's a member of the, the Barrel Collective. And uh, and she has uh, gotten way more than her money back um, for what she's spent on the collective so far. So uh, it's a good deal. So there you go, guys. Don't forget to click the like button. Give me a like for the information I shared. Um, I'm going to be uh, heading down now to... Uh, 
to go to the after party on Instagram. So if those of you that want to join me, um, it'll probably start like around six o'clock for me because I'm going to eat dinner first. Uh, but I'll probably be sitting out with this and a cigar because this is absolutely amazing Reposado. The best Reposado I've ever tasted. You guys are going to freak out about it um, when you try it. It's it's great. Please <laughs> take my word on it. Have I ever steered you wrong yet? Um, you're going to love it. <laughs> All right. So like I would say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. <clears throat> so make sure you grab <laughs> some Cascanes single barrel, 100 proof Reposado. And you're going to be doing great. Salute. Bye, guys. See you at the after party. And don't forget, tomorrow night, um, <coughs> nighttime with the Ombre, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it's also EBA 101 Boxing's bachelor party. Everyone bring in a Nieho or extra Nieho. We're going to have a good time. It's going to be a blast. Don't miss it. Mark it on your calendar. All right, guys. Salute. Bye. <laughs>